Hey guys, it's me, um, Anthony from Underground, the Underground Leader. And this video, I'm going to kind of make it a little quick because it's my second time filming it and I'm still, I still kind of have a cold. So, the moral of this deck is, uh, well, the moral of this video is that I'm showing a deck profile. This time I'm showing off my Froggy Monarchs, which is a deck that I never showed off on Underground yet. Um, it, it's kind of hard to really throw your own twists and turns into a deck like this since you have to add the Monarch side, the Frog Engine side, the spell side, which is pretty much most mostly staples, and there really are no traps because of Treeborn. So, overall, it's a fun deck. I really like it. My nickname for it is Sage Mode, because it reminds me of Jiraiya and Naruto with their frogs on their shoulder. And it reminds me of, like, two Treeborn frogs or Dupe or Swap Frog. Alright, so, enough joking around. I'll get into it. For the frog side, I mean... Three swap frogs. For me, swap frog is a necessity. You summon it, and you basically put the tree born in the graveyard, and we, and that's what pretty much what starts it off. Next, this is kind of this is most likely going to change in the future, but it was three dupe frogs. But I'm going to eventually change it to two. Uh, I'm going to eventually change it. <coughs> I'm going to eventually change it to two dupe frogs and one maxi. But I'm going to wait for maxi to get reprinted then. Then I'll do it. Uh, and then I tech one Rodent Totem. I don't like to run multiples of Rodent Totem. I tried it out at two. It really wasn't my style. So I decided to just play it at one. And one, it does fine. Alright, next. My babies of the deck. Then it's my two ultimate first Ed Mint Tree Vaughn Frogs. Now, these overall, I got one from Spidey. And I got one from Moki Moki from the Wind. You know, for the. <laughs> one from Moki Moki for the win, and that's his DN name, I'll, I also know his, like, YouTube name, but I don't know it, like, purely by heart, so, I, I know, like, so I got one from Moki Moki from the win, and one from Moki Moki for the win, and one from Spidey, that makes me like the deck even so much more, because I love, because nobody would know how much hard it was to get those cards. Next, as for my hand traps, I have three faders, three battle faders. Battle Fader is a necessity for this deck because it's tribute fodder and it will block your opponent's direct attacks, especially with a deck with rarely no trap cards. You need the protection. So that's what I use there. Next, two effect veilers. It's good for either formula synchron or negating your opponent's effects. So overall it's pretty good because you can instantly start effing with your opponent with this card. Next, for my other hand traps, I've made two Trigodias. Trigodia is also a necessity, because with this deck, you kind of have a decent, you know, a couple of cards in your hand, so it's never really going to come, you know, on the field with, like, barely any attack points, and even if it, even if you are in a situation where you run out of cards very quickly, you could still always use it for Tribute Fodder, or to Sink, <laughs> or to Exceed, it doesn't matter. Last hand trap, Gores, necessity, I don't think I need to really explain how much Gores is awesome. Next, Dark Dust Spirit. Dark Dust Spirit I've always had like a hate-love relationship with because it's just like, it's a good card if my opponent has packed with field, but it's like if your opponent's dominating, this card's awesome. If you're dominating, this is just stuck in your hand. It's like, this is like a very rare scenario where you actually use it to its fullest extent. Next, to Vandy's Fiend. Vandy's Fiend is there just to make sure that opponent because this deck is sort of slow because it's all like you know slowly but surely I'll I'll dominate the field but this card is one of the cards that will make sure that my dominance will stay that my opponent won't spam the field with crazy shit like six sams or fucking wind ups and go fuck themselves <laughs> that's my card to say fuck those two next my my favorite boss monster of the deck light and darkness dragon because the deck can I mean two because it could literally come on the field and just say, BAM! Negate, 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 negate! Oh, you destroyed me? Bring back Ryza, bring back Kai's. <laughs> That's why I like Light and Darkness so much. Next, speaking of Ryza, <laughs> three Ryzas. Ryza is basically, a lot of people in this format have been maining extra Compulses because Compulses is great in this format. Ryza is a better looking Compulse, so... That's the moral. Rise is awesome. 
but nobody's as awesome as three Caius's. I always love using Caius's effect to banish himself just to make my opponent take that last 1,000 for them to lose. Caius is a necessity for this deck. I built this deck pretty much because of Caius and Treeborn. So, that's it. Three Caius and three Rises. As for the spells, to make sure my shit doesn't get negated or bottomless, I mean three MSTs, making sure that back row don't, don't touch me. Then I have three enemy controls, which is pretty much the brain control of the deck by giving away a Treeborn Frog in the standby, and then it'll just come back and I, dec I basically get to take my opponent's guard. <laughs> Next, two Soul Exchange. Soul Exchange is okay, but I don't really like the whole concept of, you know, I skip my battle phase. But this wouldn't be the first deck that I've skipped my battle phase with certain things like I am a Constalls. I have to use Super Rebirth where I have to skip my standby, so I'm like, my... I have to skip my battle phase, so I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> the others, the necessities, uh, mirror, f <laughs> the other necessities, Dark Hole, Monster of Morn, and Heavy Storm. Make sure that all my stuff gets, and my own little tech is, I run Treacherous Trap Hole. Most people think it's stupid since it would just be MST, like a good MST target, and people would just hit it with MST, but there are times where Treacherous Trap Hole has, has saved me, so I don't really want to take it out. I like playing Treacherous, so... Yeah. Now for the extra deck. I mean, Formula Synchron. It's necessary. Ally Justice Cataster. Black Rose Dragon. Stardust Dragon. Thought Ruler Archfiend. Scrap Dragon. Three Gachi Gachi. One Insector Beetle. Extra Beetle. I'll go through my extra deck because not every card in here is meant for that deck. Then I mean one Gaia Dragon. One Sword Breaker. One Photon Strike bouncer and number 25 i also have a, a colossal fighter but i put it back in my binder but those are the cards that are in this deck and yeah so overall the deck is fun the deck is good if i would ever bring it to a special event this would be the deck i would bring instead of my light swarms or my dark ones because this deck is probably the the more reliable one that i could probably depend on the most um, if anybody has any tips to make this deck better, please tell me. I always really want to make this deck better than it already is. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and yeah. And I'm trying to think of what else I could say. I mean, one of the reasons why I even built this deck, because I've had Froggy Monarchs before. I had them two times before. And I always like the concept that it's mainly because of the Monarch side. Because I grew up back in the day when people really remember before mainly fusions and synchros and exceeds were out it was all about tributing and i still have the tribute tributing in my blood i feel like i just love to do old-fashioned i tribute this for this and you can't get that anymore really much out of the game so that's why i love playing monarchs because i like that old school feeling of playing them so, I mean, overall, it's very fun. I could still throw, you know, um, synchros and exceeds in there to keep it, you know, refreshed and up-to-date. And overall, it still does pretty well against the meta. So, yeah, I would really like some help to make it a little bit better. Leave a comment below telling me what you thought about it. Um, and, you know, show your support. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys later.